wow, this bike is quiet, smooth. Yeah, as you can you can hear, man, or not hear, there is no sound coming off of this. This is a quiet bike. This may be the quietest bike that I have in the uh, arsenal. Maybe other than uh, the Kolkoff uh, bikes. Uh, but uh, this is awful smooth and awful quiet. All right, we're going to come to a stop. We're going to change this view. Yeah, so, so again, we're out getting some fun footage, fun footage on this bike here. Uh, this event in Pace 350, so uh, next gen. So the the 350, just so you guys are aware, is uh, 350 watts. Uh, this bike is great for um, flatter type terrain. I think if I lived in mountainous area, might not be my choice uh, because, as my at my size, I would have to do work getting where I'm going uh, on the uphill. But I'll give you an example here. Uh, we'll just go up this, and then we'll turn around because I want to go down the other way. But this is really the biggest uh, hill I have in the neighborhood. Uh, and we'll show you just what it does uh, going up the hill. We'll go down by these. You can't see it the way I've got the camera, but we'll go down to these trees and we'll uh, work it back going up. Yeah, this event and pace three, six, uh, 350. Very smooth and 350 watts. Uh, I think it peaks somewhere 450 or 500 watts, but with the skinnier tires, it feels a little more powerful than that. If uh, if it had fat tires, you'd probably need uh, 500 watts to feel similar. But this feels really good at uh, 350. All right. All right, so I got that set up. So now it is on the back of the bike and we're just gonna turn around here and we're gonna go up the viaduct. I won't keep it on the back where I have it uh, too much longer because uh, this bike doesn't have fenders um, and I don't want it to hit the tire and ruin anything on my, on my camera. But I'll just use throttle going up this instead of pedaling and show you that, you know, if you, if you have some small hills or short distance hills, this bike is fine. But if you had uh, something on the, uh, on the larger uh, big hills, like right now I'm doing 11, I decided to pedal, not putting any effort into it. Um, very easy to get up this hill. Um, it's a good bike. It's, this is a great bike. Uh, the quality of the bike is, is really good. Uh, Aventon builds a very beautiful uh, bike. And uh, my knowledge is this bike isn't crazy expensive. Um, maybe 13 or 1400 bucks. Uh, very quiet, a very good commuter. Uh, bike. Uh, if I lived in Chicago or or uh, or any any area, even Portland, any area that that uh, has um, fairly flat terrain, 
uh, this this is a, this is a great bike. I am doing 23 miles an hour, not pedaling, not using throttle. 24 an hour, just just because of the very low rolling resistance. The uh, 25.8, just the friction of the um, of the tires, just the friction of the tires on the road is a lot less than uh, on a uh, fat tire uh, bike. And so, yeah, now I'll, I'll uh, I'm just gonna throttle. And throttling, I'm in uh, fifth gear doing 20.2 miles an hour. 19, 20, 19, 9, 20.1. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic little bike. And if your budget uh, restricts you, this is a good bike, man, well-made quality bike that uh, this is where I'm going and I'm gonna turn uh, anyway uh, if <laughs> if I were in your shoes uh, and you wanted a commuter style bike this is the bike I would get uh, because uh, if you got a limited budget, uh, the Pace 350 or the Pace 500, very nice bike. All right, we're going to switch out again. We're going to try to put this thing on the front. Got to get the walks and rides in while the weather's nice. I agree with that. <laughs> Is that an automatic bike? Are, are you looking for something of this style? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, that, I would pick that. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty little bike, and and this company, um, Aventon, makes a, all their bikes are exquisitely made. If you look at this bike close, there's no weld marks. They grind them off to make it a nice finish yeah. everywhere. They're one of the only ones that integrate the brake light and the back light into the frame. I mean, this. Yeah, I think this is a thirteen or fourteen hundred dollar bike. And they just do a beautiful job. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys, where there's a will, there's a way. So, got the selfie stick tied up by the display. Can't really read what's going on on the display, but you can see me, you can hear me, and that's the important things. Anyway, seven speed Shimano shifter is just plenty for this bike works really really well and uh, again we're going up a slight hill doing 15 miles an hour um, I'm just coming over here to these houses here been to these houses many a times um, but I, I, I like seeing the progression of the houses and I want to take a few still photographs for this bike uh, at these houses because you know this is the kind of bike that kind of shows a little bit of elegance Shows a little bit of coolness and maybe a good fit for someone that lives in a in a little housing complex like this that might be bigger. And uh, you may you may say, wow, I'd love to ride my neighborhood in that bike. So again, we're using the 360 uh, camera. So this will be a 1080p uh, video. I'm not using the, uh, the 4K. Um, I will be using a 4K eventually, but not today. Uh, another thing I want to tell you about, uh, we, are, we are heading on a, uh, an RV trip uh, coming up early September. So, uh, you guys uh, should like and subscribe to that because that'll be, you know, we're bringing two e-bikes and that should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so uh, this, this bike has slightly swept back handlebars. Uh, position on this bike is really good. Um, for a female, this would be a really good bike because uh, the small size gets the handlebars a little closer to you and it feels nice. 
feels really nice. For not being upswept, you know, not having these handlebars that upsweep to you and, and, and pull into you, this, these handlebars are really nice. I'm trying to figure out, well, we'll go around this for a little bit and I'll find a house to, that looks a little more finished on the front and uh, take a few pictures. Yeah, here's the model. Maybe this will be good. Yeah, maybe I'll take a picture or two here. And, uh... See how that goes with, uh... All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Insta off. Okay, Insta's off. All right. So it's going to be hard because I got to take the camera off to take this picture or the phone off the camera to take the picture. So that'll disconnect my sound and everything else. So that's what we're gonna do. We're only gonna take a couple of pictures, so hang on, we will disconnect you and then we'll pull back to you. Yeah, this little community, man, uh, we watched it from waiting and waiting and waiting for them to, to dig out. And uh, when they first did it, these houses were going to be 300,000 um, bucks. And now I think the minimum is 450 or from the mid 400s. Yeah, so not cheap. Not cheap. Let's see if they still have the sign up from the mid 400s or whatever. It might be 450 and new. And, and more I don't know yeah crazy 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 come on push the camera down a little bit right there I like that um, yeah so you know this bike uh, a couple more things about the bike the battery's pretty sufficient it'll get you 20 miles uh, no pedal uh, throttle only uh, pedaling, I, I've never done just a, a, hey, how far will it get you pedaling? I'm not going to pedal a bike that far. I'm not a person that does 30 and 40 miles at a time. But uh, read their website. Their website is very accurate on the pace. Uh, on, on a Venton, they're, they're very accurate on telling their miles. So, um, yeah, this bike has a left-hand throttle. Pretty cool. Uh, different than all my other bikes. Uh, and it's a, it's a thumb throttle. So all you do is push down on it and it works. Uh, what else have I got? Seven speed Shimano shifter, uh, elegant thumb throttle shifter, very nice underneath the hands. These are mechanical brakes. Uh, they break this bike because it's not a fat tire bike. Not, not crazy heavy, very, very well. Uh, out of the box, this one had no squeaks. Uh, and like I said, you cannot hear this bike roll. This bike is extremely, quiet. Uh, in fact, the lady that was uh, asked me, she goes, is that, is that one of those automatic bikes, meaning electric? So she could not tell. So she could not tell. Um, yeah. So there you have it, man. Yeah, I, th I think, um, you know, when I bought the Kalkoff bikes uh, back in 2010, it was a mid-drive 250-watt bike. And uh, I'm sorry, but you have to work your butt off with those bikes. You really do. So when, uh, when I got the offer to take the, th the Pace 350, I was a little nervous. I was like, well, you know, the Pace 500 or the Aventon... Uh, Adventure would be better for me. Um, but this bike at 350 watts gave me a whole new perspective 
uh, on on uh, the newer quality, <clears throat> uh, the newer motors, uh, 350 watts on flat. If if my Kalkoff did what this bike did, I probably would not have gotten another bike at all. Uh, so I uh, probably wouldn't have needed another bike, and and uh, probably wouldn't have wanted another bike. But because the Kalkoff was such a pain in the rear to ride, it really was uh, just above a standard bike. And when you get old and when you get fat, it becomes hard. It becomes very hard. And whose fault is that? That's my fault for being uh, overweight and older. I can't help age, but for being older and, and uh, not having the endurance and the muscle power to push those uh, standard bikes uh, up, up long grades. And we live in Oregon, so we got some long, steep grades sometimes. And then you'll be all the way down in first gear, pedaling like a little maniac just to keep yourself going. Uh, I wanted a little boost. Well, 250 watts was enough boost for a little while, but then became uh, not enough. And so I, I was looking at getting a new bike and um, got a new bike. And now I've got uh, a bunch of new bikes. And uh, I think if I would have uh, had this bike from, uh, from the rip uh, many years ago, it wasn't made, so, <laughs> but I probably wouldn't have gotten another bike. No, I know I wouldn't have gotten another bike because this bike does, it has, has enough power enough gear shifting to manage um, to manage the, the, the effort it takes to go up the hills. Like right now I'm in gear seven. I got throttle fully down doing 13.8 miles an hour, 13.7. Um, and this is fairly steep here. Uh, let's just reduce it to here. Now I'm in gear five, going up it, no effort whatsoever. Uh, well, very little. There's no effort in gear four. I'm just spinning the tires or spinning the the crankshaft to get me up. So, yeah, an Aventon, man. Uh, beautifully made, beautiful looking. Uh, I would call these, yeah, you know, maybe maybe on the on the market of you know what people think these are entry level if this is entry level maybe it's upper entry level um i don't know i don't know what people expect out of like a seven thousand dollar bike because i don't own a seven thousand dollar bike uh but i can't you know power is power right uh these tires are great tires. The frame is built well. The integration on this bike is really well. If, if, uh, if a higher end bike is significantly better, I'd be surprised. I'd be real surprised. The only thing this thing doesn't have is a front suspension fork. Like I said, I lock mine out all the time, so it, it's no big deal to me. Uh, and we're coming back home, so, you know, that's the ride. It's not long. Uh, but I wanted to get out on it and showcase a little bit of the look of it. Just a beautiful bike. All right. Here we go. We'll pull up and just notice the silence. Just quiet. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. We'll catch you on the next episode. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.